is the spookiest day of the year and one final chance for ghosts and goblins to trick or treat for goodies. Yeah, and even though it's Monday, lots of communities are keeping up with tradition and doing it tonight. So you could see plenty of kids outside collecting candy this evening. Brianna Smith joins us live this morning to talk about staying safe and spooky. And good morning to you, Bree. Good morning, David and Lindsay, and happy Halloween, everyone. Now, today, we all know it's about the decorations, the costumes, and, of course, the candy. Now, before you head out for a fun night of trick-or-treating, keep these tips in mind. Experts say parents and kids should be vigilant as they walk throughout neighborhoods. It's also important to stay in large groups and use the sidewalks and crosswalks. When it comes to drivers on the road, slow down and be alert. Children are twice as likely to be struck and killed by a vehicle on Halloween than any other day of the year, according to Safe Kids Worldwide, and one dad says he added an important piece to his child's costume to help keep him safe. This was a great costume because it had great reflective material on the front, but the back had nothing. So we put reflective tape on it to make it look like it was part of the costume. Once you're done filling your bags, the fun doesn't stop there. It's time to enjoy all the sweet treats, but health experts advise parents and children to wash their hands first. Then check the candy to make sure there are no opened wrappers, ingredients that can trigger an allergic reaction, or treats that pose any risk. Then, of course, when it comes time to eat the candy, try not to eat it all at once. Doctors advise children to eat less than 25 grams of sugar per day, so I know it's hard. It's Halloween. We want to eat it all, but this way, kids will have some treats for the rest of the week unless parents get to it first. Reporting live this morning, Brianna Smith, KDK News.